Okay, so I just cut a bunch of these uh, small pieces of wood from some scrap ply that I had. They are for applying um, whoop, applying more even uh, pressure for the glue lamination. So because the clamps have a small circular head, um, I run the risk of not getting even pressure across the glue surface. So if I put this on top on each clamp, then I know I'm going to get even pressure across the lamination and I'll get a, a better lamination. So that's what they're for. First bow, glue laminated. So um, I bought five extra clamps, and the reason I wanted to do that is that I wanted to make sure that every part of the bow had even pressure so I could get the, the best glue uh, lamination possible. So there's 15 clamps in total. Uh, but to be honest, I could have used one or two extra because you can see down the end here where the bow finishes. Um, really could have used a clamp there. But uh, all in all, it turned out pretty good. I've got a lot of uh, glue squeeze out so you know that um, the glue is getting to all the surface and there doesn't seem to be many gaps so uh, it seems to turn out pretty well um, one thing that I do want to do uh, is want to mark the end here with a pencil or both ends so I know where the ends of the bow are because once I unclamp this and take it off I'll have no reference point for where's the center or where's the end so those marks are going to be pretty important um, but yeah I'm, I'm happy with how it came out uh, these guys seem to do the trick um, to apply the pressure evenly and bar missing one or two clamps it looks pretty good so let's see how it looks tomorrow Okay, here is the first bow. So um, it's comprised of the top one, which I steam bent and glue laminated, and the bottom one, which I didn't need to steam bend because the curvature is less. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks pretty nice. It's you can see now how they react. Obviously, they're squeaking because the clamps are moving. But um, so by itself, the top bow is is rather weak. I could just like push it down with one hand, and it would probably snap. Um, but you can see with this bottom bow, when I press down, the two act together, so the comp it's pretty efficient structure, so the load goes down in this kind of arc-shaped bow, and the ends want to slide out, but this one in the middle acts as the tensioning um, piece between the two, so it like holds the two, ed the, uh, the two ends in. And it's actually a pretty, it's actually a very strong but quite flexible structure. So uh, The next step now is, once I clean this guy up, I have another bow which is ready to go. Um, so now I have to think about how to join this to the seat and to the other bow. So I'm going to start prototyping um, the joints. So in the original chair, I just glued on a piece to the underside. But now I've got. I'm going to think about these joints in more detail, um, and I'm going to design them in a way that they can be dismantled and the chair can be taken apart. So next week I'm going to start sketching and prototyping uh, the joints for the front and the back. And I'm also going to start looking at uh, the feet and how they meet the ground. So yeah, next week should be pretty cool. I'm going to sketch them out, I'm going to 3D model them, and I'm going to start uh, prototyping them. So I'll start to assemble the chair and uh, yeah, it's starting to take shape. It's looking pretty good.
Cool. Okay. Dinner time.